Mert Straffer here with another Big Brother Canada 6 eviction interview. Sitting here with Alejandra. Why are you sitting here? Johnny boy! Johnny uh, risks my game, and I think he was okay with it. And ultimately, I tried to give him a heads up that it might not be as clear-cut as he was hoping. And here we are. You know, there was a point in the game where it was sort of up between Ryan and Johnny, and you decided to sort of keep Johnny. Can you take me back to sort of the methodology behind that decision? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it was pretty clear cut for me in the beginning of the week. I thought Ryan was definitely the safer bet. I thought Johnny might be harboring some resentment for getting Erica out, and I thought it would be too risky to keep him. But after a couple of candid conversations with him and a few heart-to-hearts, I really felt genu I felt he was being genuine when he said if – you know, I could flip the house for him, that he would be loyal to the end kind of thing. And I did that because I love Johnny on a personal level, and we were allies, and we were great allies. And I thought, you know, it was better to have a strong ally, even though a threat, a strong ally on my side for number reasons. Um, and I thought ultimately he would take a shot at Dela, which is what he did. I just never anticipated he would use me as a replacement nom. On paper, it seemed like the smarter play for Will, Maddie, and Paris would have been to you know, basically break up Kayla. Why do you think that they chose to go the other way? I think they're easily persuaded. I think Kayla offered them the moon and the sun, and they kind of fell for it. Whether or not they'll stand true to it, I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> but that's my own personal, you know, vendetta kind of. Um, but I think that's ultimately what it was. I wasn't really willing to swear on my family or my offer my firstborn child. I didn't feel it was necessary. I thought my loyalty, my actions to, throughout the game spoke larger volumes. But apparently I was wrong. A lot of people seem to focus on, you know, showmances as duos, powerful duos that need to break up. Were you and Olivia just as powerful, but Kayla sort of was the one that just got everyone's attention? I do believe Olivia and I were just as powerful. I think we downplayed how powerful we were. Uh, that was obviously a strategic move. I think that throughout the entire course of the game, and they'll see it when they watch it back, we were very much maneuvering ourselves through the game, kind of inceptioning ideas and putting our own agenda on other people's power because we always didn't have our own power. Um, I think socially we had a lot more connections than Dela did, especially Kayla, but I think ultimately um, again her desperate plea prevailed. Uh, what are your feelings on Johnny now? I'm really frustrated with Johnny. I have a few words for him definitely. Uh, from a fan perspective, I am rooting for him. Uh, as much as I hate the move that he made, as a fan I can understand why he did it and I think it was you know, semi-smart. Um, but yeah, I am rooting for him. I am rooting for Dela, and I'm rooting for Olivia. I don't want to see one of the trio win. You know, uh, you seem to be quite close with Dela and Kayla, like, during the course of the show. How much did your relationship change when you were placed on the block against her? There, it's inevitable when you're pinned against each other that you're going to go for the jugulars and you're going to do everything you can to cut the other one down. Um, I knew it was just gameplay. I never took it personally. In fact, I respect and commend Kayla for the amount of fight she put up. Ultimately, she beat me. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Olivia? How did that all get started? Yeah, Olivia and I, honestly, there is no explanation. It was instant. Um, she just gets me. And I get her, and it's very easy to be around each other. We have a similar humor. We have similarities. We have a lot in common. Um, I like her, like, no BS kind of attitude, and she's unapologetic, and so am I. Uh, we could be snarky behind closed doors together and know it was harmless, but we also knew how to play the role. And ultimately, she just was my solid confidant, and I'm so grateful to have played the game with her. What do you define as a Big Brother floater, and what are the best examples of floaters in the house? Absolutely. Great question. I think for me, a floater doesn't necessarily mean someone who doesn't win competitions. I think many people do that. But a floater for me is someone who doesn't necessarily have the foresight to plan steps ahead, who kind of just waits for the opinions and ideas and strategic um, kind of impulses of others to dictate their decision as to which way they're going to vote. A floater to me is someone who ultimately votes with the majority because they don't want to be on the outside even if they feel that being on the outside is what's best for their game. Someone who's not, someone who's afraid to kind of stand up for what they believe in. 
Um, there were definitely situations I voted against Ryan when I knew he wasn't going home, but that was my that was my right, and that was my decision. There was a lot of things that I did throughout the game strategically that I, even though I didn't win comps, I just feel that did not make me a floater. I feel like Will Paris and Maddie have definitely floated through this game, and they didn't want to be defined as floaters, but I think evicting me proved that they are floaters. They have no loyalty to anyone. They will move with the power and the majority. So that to me is a floater. Uh, what do you think the most pivotal move of this season has been? I definitely think for me personally, getting Veronica out early on was a very pivotal move. I knew she had a strong social game. I think part of the reason she and I didn't connect right away is because she was very much like me and that's intimidating to my game. So I think for me getting her out as early as I did uh, helped my game because I do believe she would have been a cancer in terms of soiling my name throughout mm -hmm. and given the fact that she had an internal beast within her just waiting to unleash, I know the next time she gained power she would have taken a shot at me. Is there any house guest you wouldn't vote for in the jury no matter who they were up against? <sighs> No, I think ultimately as soon as the saltiness and the bitterness subsides, I will look at it from a strategic, from a fan basis and I will strategically vote for whoever played the best game. I think Olivia will have my vote no matter who she's up against uh, and then from there it will really depend. If it is the three floaters in the end, it'll be a really hard gut-wrenching decision, but at that point I will base it basically on who I feel that had the best social game. Uh, and we're almost done. You know, you were targeted uh, early on in the game, and yeah. then you managed to sort of slip under the radar. How were you able to do this? Again, I do uh, give a lot of credit to my social capabilities in that sense. I think I may have come off a little strong in the beginning, and I recognized that and kind of fell back a bit and just played like, oh, I'm just me, you know, and kind of tried to focus on building solid relationships. I tried to find strong players, strong competitors like Erica and Johnny and aligned myself with them, um, you know, for protection and for numbers. Uh, they're also very social butterflies, so because they had social influence, I felt that their perception of me helped keep the radar off my back with other people in the house that maybe I wasn't as close to. And finally, what is the best part about being uh, on Big Brother Canada? Uh, it's like for me it was truly a, a dream realized it's been I've been a fan forever and actually getting to play the game is a dream come true I think just the entire experience getting to play in those competitions I mean it's incredible the amount of effort and planning that goes into all of it and I feel honored more than anything that I was chosen for the comeback season to be part of it I'm just I'm so honored blessed and humbled for sure amazing Alejandra thank you so much thank you so thank much, you so much. Appreciate it.